In this part, we are going to start with the new chapter, that is the third chapter on the first unit, that is plant kingdom. In the previous classes, we discussed about the biological classification and there we studied about the classifications of organisms. Under uh, the classification, the organisms were classified into five different kingdoms such as Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Mycota, Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia. There in biological classification we studied about the first three kingdoms and we have taken up the fourth kingdom and this Kingdom Plantae as a separate chapter. Kingdom Plantae or Plant Kingdom in this chapter, we can expect for maximum 5 marks in the examination. Maximum marks that can be obtained is 5. And many of the biologists started classification and they start giving up their classifications like uh, artificial classification, natural classification and the phyl phylogenetic classification. But among all these classifications, there were uh, the organisms were classified based on some of the characteristic features or based on some of the evolutionary relationships among the organisms. And there were many classifications, but many of the classifications were rejected and only few were accepted. We shall see which, which is the classification that we all are following today. Before that, we shall study about the systems of classifications. We know that the organisms are classified into different categories and they are named. We have taken up the kingdom that is plant kingdom. Here, all different types of plants are grouped and they are categorized, they are classified and many systems are given and very few of them are followed. Here we are going to see about the systems of classification. The first system of classification is the artificial system of classification. If we are considering it as an artificial system of classification on which basis the classification is being done. The artificial system of classification is done mainly based on the morphological features or morphological characters. The artificial system of classification is done mainly on the superficial morphological characters that means superficial morphological characteristics means the characteristics are which are easily seen through our naked eyes morphological characteristics that means the external based on the external appearances so which which are the external appearances or which are the morphological characters that are considered for the uh, artificial system of classification is here the plants were classified based on the based on the habitat based on habitat based on habitat and also based on the number of number of and shapes number and shapes of leaves number and also the shape of the leaves were also taken for count or they were considered for the classification and also this classification was also done based on the andresium structure and also based on the shape, based on their habitat and based on the number of leaves 
androecial structures or their reproductive structures based on such morphological characteristics the plants were classified into different groups and this is how based on these morphological characteristics the artificial system of classification was done and this because of only the external appearance or the morphological characteristics this system was not sustained for longer time and this system that is the artificial system of classification had some demerits which are those demerits the demerits were the system of classification would separate a very closely related species though the uh, species are very closely related some of the species may not may not be having such morphological characteristic and during that time only based on the general characteristics or the morphological characteristics the classification was done and the many of the closely related species were separated due to the artificial system of classification and in this system of classification more weightage was given for the vegetative and sexual characteristics more weightage was given to vegetative more weightage was given to the vegetative and sexual characteristics as we mentioned the vegetative characteristics are nothing but these external appearance or the morphological characteristics like shape color shape color and number of leaves and where do they grow that is habitat based on these aspects that is the based on the vegetative characteristics the artificial system of classification was done as well as the sexual characteristics like the reproductive parts as we mentioned the androecium structure so like this only the system artificial system of classification was giving more weightage and it was concentrating only on the vegetative and sexual characteristics and due to the more weightage of vegetative sexual uh, characteristics it was not accepted the vegetative characteristics are easily accepted or sorry they are easily affected by the external environment whatever the vegetative characteristics we are observing here like it may be the shape of the leaves or it may be the number of the leaves it may be uh, the color of the flower or it may be uh, the color of the leaves or the reproductive structures they may be changed or they may be affected due to the external environment and if it is changed they are not a different species but according to this artificial system of classification they were separated that means the closely related species were separated here what we mentioned here the closely related species were separated because they were only they were classified only based on the vegetative characters but the vegetative characters are easily affected or they are easily changed by the external environmental factors due to this reason this was not accepted and it was the biggest drawback or demerit of the artificial system of classification and the artificial system of classification was many in number very some of the few examples of artificial system of classification are linear classification system Linnaeus also classified the plants into different categories based on vegetative and sexual characteristics and also named the artificial system of classification so linnaeus classification can be taken as an example for artificial system of 
classification and the second example for artificial system of classification is Aristotle's classification. Even Aristotle also classified in the initial time he also classified the plants into different categories uh, keeping base as the vegetative and sexual characteristics because of this reason Aristotle's classification can also be taken as an example for artificial system of classification. Next we shall move on to the second type of system of classification that is natural system of classification. The first type is artificial system of classification and the second type is artificial natural system of classification. Here, on which basis the classification is done? Based on the natural affinities, based on the natural affinities considered among the organisms, considered among the organisms, the natural affinities among the organisms are considered in the natural system of classification on which basis we classified the artificial system of classification based on the vegetative and the sexual characteristics here in natural system of classification the classification is done based on the natural affinities among the organisms and that natural affinities are considered for the classification of the different plants and here the natural system of classification is mainly classified based on the internal and external features internal and external features we shall compare here the natural system of classification is done based on both the external appearance or external features as well as the internal features. But in the artificial system of classification, the classification was done only based on the external that is morphological characters based only on the morphological characters. Here, when we take up about the internal features under natural system, which are the internal features? That is nothing but internal features means based on comparison, based on comparison of the ultra structure, ultra structure, ultra structure of anatomy. Ultra structure of anatomy and also embryonic embryonic development embryonic development as well as the phytochemistry phytochemistry was also considered as a major base for the classification of plants under natural system of classification. Here, not only the external features, but also the internal features like ultrastructure of anatomy, that means about the structure of inner organs, about the internal structure of tissues and cells were also considered and development of the embryo was considered as well as about the phytochemistry how it is present in plants and keeping all these things as the base the natural system of classification was done based on the external features as well as the internal features some examples for the artificial system of classification is the first one George Bentham and Dalton Hooker's classification. Please do remember 
we also mentioned in previous chapter about Bentham and Hooker classification. Bentham and Hooker classification is nothing but the full name of Bentham is George Bentham and Dalton Hooker's classification. They both together worked on the classification and they gave one of the natural system of classification. And the second example for natural system of classification is Augustine, Augustine, De Candolles. Augustine De Candolles is a scientist who also uh, done classification based on the internal and external characteristics, keeping base as the internal and external characteristics. And he classified, gave the natural system of classification. And also he gave the nat uh, natural system of classification by considering the internal as well as the external characteristics. And this is about the natural system of classification. And the last type of classification that is something but phylogenetic classification. This is the classification which is more and completely accepted till today. The phylogenetic system of classification is mainly done based on the evolutionary relationships by various sorry between various organisms i'll repeat the phylogenetic system of classification is done based on the evolutionary relationships between the various organisms and this is base of the phylogenetic classification and the best example for this is Whittaker's classification, Whittaker's classification, Engler and Prantel's classification and the third one is John's Hutchison's classification and Arthur's Conquist's classifications are the different classifications given by these scientists which are considered or they are kept under the phylogenetic classification. Let us compare all the classifications and uh, consolidate here in this class that is three different types of classification. One is artificial system of classification natural system of classification and phylogenetic system of classification. Among all these classification, the last classification is more accepted. The first system is artificial system of classification that is done based on the morphological, superficial morphological characteristics. That means based on the external appearance. That this was rejected. Why? Because the external appearance may also be affected by the uh, environmental factor. So this is classified based on the uh, external appearance or external characters. The second natural system, how it is done, uh, how this classification is done based on external features as well as the internal features. Here are only external features in artificial system of classification but in natural system of classification both external as well as internal features are considered and also internal means the ultra structure that is anatomy of the cells or tissues about the organs they are taken for consideration and this is how the natural system of classification is done and the last one is nothing but the classification mainly done based on the evolutionary relationships between the various organisms. This is how the classification of plants were done by different, uh, different uh, scientists and biologists. In the next class, we shall take up the classifications or the next divisions under the kingdom of